Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware, your superstore for winter weather needs to get your house and business clean and safe outside uh, to get rid of uh, snow and ice. They've got salt, sand, pelado, mag, ice pellets and flakes, still plenty of stuff in stock. And also, if uh, you need a snowblower or shovels or spreaders, they got them too. 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. We've got two storm systems to talk about. The first one today uh, is heading up through the northern Ohio Valley uh, and on up into eastern Canada. So uh, on the east side of it, we've got flash flood watches up from northern Alabama and Tennessee northeastward up the west side of the Appalachians into western Pennsylvania, western New York, and even parts of northern New York uh, under flash flood watches. We also have winter weather going on uh, with winter storm warnings in Minnesota and northwestern Wisconsin and on the upper peninsula of Michigan and advisories on uh, to the south side of that. Ice storm warnings up in parts of northern Michigan. We have also some winter storm watches in eastern Oklahoma, northern Arkansas, and extending down, we have winter weather advisories going southwest from there. And this is for the weather system, the next weather system that's going to follow up right behind it. And winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories throughout much of the southwest from uh, western Colorado, Utah, uh, into Nevada, and on into uh, Arizona and northern New Mexico. So very busy map indeed. We also don't want to leave out those blizzard warnings in orange in southeastern North Dakota and northeastern South Dakota as the uh, system uh, starts to eventually wind down, but they are producing blizzard conditions in, in those uh, particular areas. So let's take a look at what's going on on the satellite uh, this afternoon. Uh, we're seeing clouds all over the place. Uh, across the uh, eastern half of the United States and then going back through the northern plains and the Rockies. And you can see the energy in the west that's dropping southward. You can see the energy in the east that's running up uh, to the northeast. We do have some severe weather to talk about today, too. SPC uh, has a slight risk of severe weather indicated for northeastern Mi Mississippi, northwestern Alabama, and south central Tennessee with a larger area of marginal risk surrounding that. And this is uh, moving on up uh, to the northeast. And uh, also SPC is circling this area here up around the Great Lakes, particularly the area up in northern Wisconsin and into the upper peninsula of Michigan, where we're seeing uh, some bands of heavy snow move through that particular area. So this is all for now, obviously. And of course, you want to make sure uh, if, if it when it comes down to severe weather, make sure you go to your local National Weather Service office forecast page, because what you're watching, uh, it's three uh, just shortly after three o'clock Eastern time. So obviously any radar shots and anything from SPC is on the dated side. So you want to get the latest information. Make sure you go to weather.gov and start from there. So we are going to obviously see some rain. And you can see it here on the latest run of the GFS model uh, moving uh, eastward. Uh, we're going to see that rain eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England. Uh, that moves through this evening and into the first part of tonight. A weather front will push on through, turning the winds to the west. So the rains will come to an end before daybreak. And those little showers that you see in central PA for tomorrow ahead of a secondary front. Now it's behind that front that we have much colder air, that big high that you see up in North Dakota. That's very cold air that is coming in, and it's going to be the big player here come Thursday night and Friday. And now here comes the next low. We'll see temperatures tomorrow approach record highs uh, in the uh, 60s to near 70 in eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England, down into northeastern Virginia. Uh, I would just remind folks when they have when stuff like this happens late later in the winter, the latter part of the winter, which uh, it, it's not uncommon. Uh, back in 2018, yesterday, uh, we had record highs set in the northeast and northern mid-Atlantic states in the 70s to near 80, and that was followed by a blizzard with temperatures in the teens the next day. So just bear that in mind, folks. It does happen. Now, as far as what's going on for Thursday into Friday, the one thing that we've been talking about the last number of days is the importance of this high to the north and the cold air from eastern Canada. This time of year, the 
the air up in this region, when we get these big highs that come down, the air is bitter cold. It's it's the coldest, uh, climatologically wise, it's the coldest air of the winter. And when that cold air bleeds southward into a warmer, more tropical air mass, that's further south, obviously, uh, in theory anyway, you wind up getting overrunning precipitation. And that's what's, hap that's what's happening. What's also happening is that on the last couple of runs, of the, both the GFS and the European model, that cold air is apparently a little more important. So we're going to respect that here, and that is going to go into our calculations as far as snow amounts are concerned when we start to figure those out. And in fact, the GFS has a rather solid thumping of snow on the front end of this coming in Thursday night into Friday morning. The low is going to head into West Virginia. A secondary low tries to form off the Delaware coast. It's a little hard to see it on this map, but there is a low there, a closed isobar. That becomes the main low. And if the primary, the secondary transfer takes over a little faster, the cold air would be even more important. So that's something to bear in mind. And it is also going to go into the calculation of our forecast. I think the main issue for many areas, though, uh, from our, my zone, eastern PA, southern New England, uh, and down into Maryland and, and, and northernmost Delaware, is the possibility of freezing rain. I think that is a, a bit of a bigger deal here uh, when, uh, when we're looking at this. Now, we're kind of in the weather prediction centers in between forecast period. So this is actually only until Friday morning. But you can see that their probabilities of at least a tenth of an inch of ice accretion through 7 a.m. Friday morning is pretty high across Pennsylvania. And then you're going to start to see these probabilities start to shift eastward. So that is the other part of this forecast because uh, there is going to be some icing issues with this. And we could see some moderate icing occurring on the order of a quarter to a half an inch across much of Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, the Hudson Valley, southwest Connecticut, uh, possibly. Uh, there might It'll be a little less, but it's also possible that we could see some icing out of this in parts of Long Island and uh, on the edge uh, that we're running here. Uh, so again, this only goes through Friday morning. We kind of need another forecast period, and we're not going to get that until uh, tomorrow so uh, from uh, WPC. So just bear all this in mind. There's a lot in flux in terms of how this is all going to turn out. And then once this goes by, there's another system that comes out on Sunday. You see it here, and the models are kind of having a tough time handling this. Uh, it's It was a little more dynamic yesterday. It's less dynamic and further south today. But being how busy it's been weather-wise, let's just hope that this one kind of goes out and we just turn colder and drier as another cold high comes down from the north for uh, er the early part of next week. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the telephone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at uh, 7.30 Eastern Time. Uh, we'll have some snow maps for you and a, and a few other things to look at. We'll cover the system that's coming through tonight. And we'll, of course, go into detail regarding the system for Thursday night and Friday. And by the way, National Weather Service snow forecast maps are all available from Maine all the way down to Georgia on my free weather app. Uh, which you can download on Google Play or on the App Store just to search for meteorologist Joe Chaffee, and you'll have it there. So, but you'll have it on your phone, and all you got to do is just go right to the map for your particular region and check out how much snow or ice you're going to get. And those maps update automatically when the Weather Service updates their snow forecast. So have a great day. We'll see you tonight at 730.